hello everyone i want welcome back to my channel i hope you're all doing well by god's grace um so today i want to share with you two ways you can make chicken filling for your meat pie or spring rolls so stay with me and let me show you how So for the first recipe, I have some diced chicken, okay? And I'm adding some onion, garlic, and ginger blend, some vegetable bouillon, salt, and paprika, and a little bit of corn flour. I'm also adding some soy sauce, okay? So the corn flour and the soy sauce, you saw that I left some. We'll use that later in the recipe, okay? So you mix it all around, and then you set it aside for at least 30 minutes, okay? So... You come back maybe in an hour's time or 30 minutes time you add some oil to your frying pan and then you pan fry your chicken we're going to be frying this chicken until it's nice and golden okay we want it to be nice and cooked and by adding the corn flour it's going to make this chicken very very succulent nice and soft right we use the chicken thighs instead of the breast because the breast tends to be very dry okay that's why we go for the thighs right set it aside once it's cooked and we add a bit more oil to the frying pan you add your onions and then you fry it a bit and you add your red peppers we'll add our peas in a minute right so we'll f i fried it for like each vegetable i fry each vegetable for about two minutes before i add the next one because the video you don't see so i've added some more of the blend we used initially the ginger garlic and onions okay to just to season it a little bit and then our chicken goes in once the chicken goes in it's literally ready but then i'm going to go to the next step okay to make it more soft and suckling so i'll get some water and add the rest of the soy sauce and the rest of the corn flour okay give it a good mix and we're going to add it to this so this is just some little slurry that we're making we'll add it to our, our meat pie filling okay and then it becomes nice and juicy it doesn't become so dry okay because the slurry will thicken around the chicken and that is our chicken the first recipe done so we're going to move on to the second recipe for the second recipe i have some chicken legs okay the chicken legs includes the thai and the drumstick i've added my green chili mix some salt to season and we're going to steam the chicken until it's nice and soft cover it steam it for about 30 minutes on low heat until it's nice and cooked through and through okay we're not going to do half cooked anything here right and then once that is nice and cooked you leave it to cool because you're going to be handling this okay let it cook completely or yeah that is that is the best advice i'll give you okay so i'll pour the stock and we'll use the stock later okay so just set the stock aside and then we'll come back to remove the skin we just take all the skin off the chicken legs right and any thing else that is it's not part of the flesh <laughs> okay right so once you've done that you're going to be taking the chicken the meat from the bones, right? You can use your hands, you can use your a fork or a knife, anything to scrape it off, right? You can throw the bones away or you can sit down and uh, take your time to chew all the bones and a little, little meat that is left. I really enjoyed that. That's what I actually did. It was really good. <laughs> it's nice and seasoned. I will recommend, if you want to use any of this um, recipe for spring rolls or samosa i recommend using this because this one has got a lot it's not a little bit more spice in it okay i added more spice to this one and when i say spice i mean heat it's chili it's hot spicy this is more spicy right okay so the next thing you do is for your chicken you're going to shred your chicken and this is just cutting it into pieces like you've seen me do here and you set that aside once that is ready you move on to put the rest of the ingredients together okay so in a pot or a frying pan you add a little bit of oil right you can use any oil of your choice and then you add your onions any onions here i use red onions because the first one i use white onions so i'm like let me change the color so there's no specific onion anything would do add some green chili mix this green chili mix i have it on my channel and trust me it's hot right and here is some more red chili that's why i said this one is on the hot side right added some mushroom because mushrooms always goes very well with chicken so you can always add mushroom i added some mushroom 
it's optional. If you don't like or you don't have it, don't worry. And then your chicken goes into this. Give it a stir. You stir fry it a bit so that it becomes very nice and tasty. Because we're adding all these um, spices and all this seasoning, right? This is chicken seasoning. You add it to it or you can use any seasoning of your choice. This is what I had. You don't want to complicate the flavors by adding so much. So, yeah. So, here's our chicken stock. I strained it and to take all the big bits and I've added some corn flour to it to make slurry to add to it to make our filling nice and soft okay nice and loose or not too loose but then i mean like thick enough so that it's when you eat it, it's not too dry because our pastries tend to be a bit dry on the dry side so you need something nice and succulent right so i'm going to add some more peppers i have yellow and orange peppers whatever you can add green peppers whatever you have you can add it then i add some peas i like to add some peas into my chicken meat pie okay my chicken pie filling right and you make say and that is it done this is literally it's finished okay so i'm going to be bringing you the my meat my no i keep saying meat pie but it's true but then i have to be specific my chicken pie recipe okay is going to be coming to you very soon so i hope you enjoyed these two recipes and let me know down in the comment below which one you were tilting towards the first or the second one thank you all for joining me and i will see you in the next one bye